All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we continue with our uh, comedy <laughs> show. <laughs> you know, when you talk about Islam, I don't know if it is sad or funny, stupid. It's all together. So today we will uh, we will talk about this uh, person here, as we see in the screen. His name is Sheikh Jamil El Bizza. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a sheikh. Are you sure? Shake it, shake it, my friend. Anyway, Muslim sheikh refused to say Merry Christmas so he can please Allah. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is so beautiful, brother. Allah is watching and he is like a Muslim Abdul. He's almost going to say Merry Christmas and that will make Allah jump like a monkey. Don't say Merry Christmas. Allah will go crazy. Allah will so Allah will commit suicide if you say Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know what kind of religion this religion is? Seriously, I mean, who is the stupid here, the Muslims or the God of the Muslims? To please Allah, you should not say Merry Christmas. Okay, and now let us say for the sake of argument, you say Merry Christmas to the Christians. What will happen exactly to Allah? Allah is unpleased. <laughs> yeah, Allah, how are you doing? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. My day is so, I'm so upset. Why Allah? Why? Uh, there is a guy, his name is Jamil. He said Merry Christmas. What? Are you serious? Yes. I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes, which is attached to my... <laughs> back uh, Allah what so what you will do now I don't know I don't know what to do I'm Allah I have not, nothing in my hand Allah knows best what I can do <laughs> what a religion man I mean this religion is really fun who can be more stupid than this religion who can beat Allah with his stupidity anyone And he must can explain to us how stupid you Muslims can be more than this. So Allah brother is pleased because now you did not say Merry Christmas. Okay, and what that happened to the Christians when you said to them, when you refused to say to them Merry Christmas, you see, man, you are so unhappy now. Oof, 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 oof. I cannot believe I'm, how I'm going to enjoy my Christmas if I'm a Muslim Muhammad and Abdul, peaceful one. He didn't say to me Merry Christmas. I mean, what is the word? Without a Merry Christmas from the mouth of Abdul, the whole world is a, is a, now is in chaos because the Abdul refused to say Merry Christmas because he is trying uh, to please Allah. Very beautiful. And very smart. You see, to make it simple, I'm really grateful for the stupidity of the Muslims. Otherwise, it's going to be harder for us. Uh, to to defeat this cult and to expose it but by the help of the dumb ones of this religion we are able to expose it a lot easier so i'm very thankful for allah <laughs> that all his followers are dumb and stupid i'm so thankful to you allah let me let me let me call allah allah hello oh i forgot allah don't have a phone line <laughs> Allah don't have even reception. Hold on, hold on. Did I say that Allah don't have a phone line? Did I say that? Okay, here we go. You offended the Muslims now. The truth, Allah have a phone line. But the problem is his reception is not good. Let me show you. By the way, some of you said to me, why you don't post an advanced reference before you do the you know the live? I don't I don't have an advanced. I don't know what I will say, seriously. I like I find something and uh, we will talk about it. Otherwise, I don't have any reference in advance. As you see, I I, I put it up in the front of your face. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, let us see. Uh, oh, we could not find this one. Hold on. Let us see.
just to show you that Allah does not have a good reception uh, let's see okay here we go read with me please just to show you that Allah has a phone but his reception is not good look look his look I, I, I think the the reception of Allah is coming from a Somalian uh, phone company which is a contractor subcontractor otherwise I cannot understand why Allah the one who can receive I mean how Allah can hear Jamil who is in Australia if he say Merry Christmas but he cannot hear him from the seven heaven listen to this Abdul and I change by the way any Muslim to, to prove me wrong my Skype is open and feel free by the way I saw a video made by Hamas against me if 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 I mean how dangerous this video is Hamas is saying that the Christian Prince is asking the Christians to support Israel and to do mass murder for the Muslims what a bunch of liars I support Israel yes but we don't support murders against anyone bunch of liars hypocrite Abdul I would drive you crazy just wait you saw nothing yet you saw nothing hold on our Lord the pleased the blessed the blessed the exalted the sins every night if, if, if here we go the poopoo -poo started Muhammad start doing poopoo -poo. Muhammad now in the stage of making stage of making poopoo -poo. Allah descended every night every night are you sure Muhammad are you sure why Allah he descended every night Every night, 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 every night. Come down, Allah, every night. He don't have reception every night. He have to move every night. If, 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 mystery. This God is amazing. Oh, wow. Faster, faster, Allah come down. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. So Allah, He come down every night to the lowest heaven. What is that, man? Is that the first floor? I'm serious here. Is that the first floor? Is that the first floor or the second floor? Who is the Muslim Abdul here is going to help me, please? I am serious. I want to know which floor is that? Any Muslim? Hmm? Allah come down every night to the first floor. Uh, why? Uh, why? And why at night, brother? Ah, now I know. At night. The reception is better. Do you understand? Uh -huh. I was wondering why. Now we know why, don't we? So Allah, He come down every night so He can have a better reception and He can listen easier for there is no noise. Did you understand? That's wonderful. Now I'm very convinced that Allah must be the Almighty God, for He cannot hear us unless He come to the first floor. Do you understand? <laughs> you must be Muslims, a bunch of you, because you keep saying, "Aha, doesn't matter what I say." <laughs> I am convinced now that you are Muslims, aren't you? <laughs> it doesn't matter what I say; you will accept. <laughs> say Allahu Akbar. Say Allahu Akbar. It's not time. Ah, you do it in the third part of the night. Okay, okay, okay. Because Allah, He will not hear you now, any now, anyway. Wonderful. I get it. I get it. Sorry, I was. I, I have a lack of intellect, man. I mean, now I notice how smart this God is. Unbelievable. 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 Guys, what? What is everybody? 
invite invite come on tell everybody that we have uh, we have versions right in here so our lord the blessed the exalted the sent every night you know what why we don't ask Zakir Naik to explain this hadith shouldn't we I mean who can do it better than Zakir Naik hey, brother Zakir Naik how you can explain to us this hadith about Allah he come in the third part of the night <clears throat> brother sister did the guy his name Christian Prince he's always asking questions with every stupid the hadith he's quoting for us Educating the Sahih Muslim, hadith number 17, 13, This hadith is saying that Allah the exalted, the most beautiful, the magnificent seven, he come down every night in the third part of the night. The reason which the Christian cannot understand why Allah he come down every night in the third part of the night. First of all, if he come in the first part of the night, this is when the Muslims are busy having sex. So nobody even caring if he is there or not, because Muslims are doing boom boom. If Allah come in the second part of the night, most likely they are going to be busy eating because this is what we do after sex. We get hungry. So Allah, he come in the third part of the night because only the good believers will be up watching porn. Do you understand? I mean, I'm seriously convinced this is a serious religion. Who can beat that? Who can? Who can beat that? I mean, come on, seriously. And you people still are not converting to Islam? Are you serious? Okay, who's a Muslim want to give me a call so we can discuss together why Allah He come down every day at the third part of the night? Any Abdul? Not even one Abdul? Where is the Abdul? Every third part of the night. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Muslims, hold on, hold on. This is really causing a problem for me. You Muslims, you say that Jesus cannot be God, for he cannot, God cannot be inside his creation, don't you? Guys, don't the Muslims, they say, Jesus cannot be God, for God cannot be inside his creation. They, should, they say that, right? Okay. I will go with you. Allah is in the seven eleven heaven. Heaven number one, heaven number two, heaven number three, heaven number four. Sorry, guys, I have to start from one again because in the Middle East they taught us only to, 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 to count until four because we can marry only four wives. Number one, number two, number three. So now the total is seven. Okay. So Allah now is here. This is Allah. And now Allah is going to come down. Let me change the color. Let me zoom more so the picture will be more clear for those who have a, a bad vision because Allah did not provide them with good vision. Uh, so let us say Allah now, according to the hadith, Allah is going to come down every day. Every day. I mean, how fun is that? I love traveling, man. Every day from heaven number seven, Huh? To heaven number one. Every day. All right. But now we have a problem. Allah is inside his creation. Any Muslim want to explain to us how stupid that is? You refuse Jesus to be God, for he God cannot be inside his creation. For God cannot be inside the created. But your God now is inside the creation. What happened? What happened? Allah became small, shrink. What happened? Any Abdul? To make it simple, to make it simple, let us say the seven heaven is seven billies. Seven billies. So Allah moved from billy number one. This is billy number one. Let me change the, let change the, the, the shape. Hold on. We want to find Billy. We don't have Billy in this software. It's all right. Okay, this is Billy number one, Billy number two, Billy number three, 
Billy number four, Billy number five, and Billy number six, and this is Billy number seven. All right. Now Allah, He will move from this Billy, huh? From this Billy, Billy, here, and He will jump inside the Billy which is here. Let me change the color. Hold on. Make it red. Muslims, they like red. So explain to us, Muslims, how Allah became inside His creation, Billy's. Is Allah is Akbar, which means bigger? Here we go. He's a small. He's going inside. What do you say? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim? Tell me what's happening. No, no, Akbar does not mean a mouse. This is not true. Akbar means bigger. And the one who taught you that is mistaken. He said that Allah Akbar mean uh, God is a great. That's stupid too. For this is not what's meant. Don't learn stupid things. Any Muslim want to explain to us? Any Abdul? Muslims are, you know, are, are they are upset. Okay. I make them upset. This is the good thing about what I do. Because you see, the sign of leaving Islam is getting upset. You see how stupid this religion? And then this is the first sign is you get upset for you believing in such a stupid thing. Then sooner or later you will leave Islam. Let us continue. Look at this. Additional to this mistake, or this is stupid statement of Muhammad, he said, that when Allah, he come down in the lowest heaven, he come down for a purpose. What is the purpose? Read with me, please. To the lowest heaven, when one third of the later part of the night left. So Allah, he come in a certain time, specific time. All right. In what? In a specific time. Uh, if we ask ourselves a very simple question why Allah have to come down in a specific time every day is Allah limited to a certain time I mean is he limited to do duty in certain time do even time count for God because when we say he come in the third part of the night, that's mean Allah himself is under the law of nature. Remember here, Allah is not coming. He's not a man. Like to say like uh, the Christian believe that Jesus is God who came in the form of a man. No, this is supposedly Allah how he is. So Allah how he is by the nature of what Muslims call it, the nature of God is under the physical and the, 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 the physical and the natural law of uh, of timing you know he is moving inside the time he is inside the time you see if you go in the space you will find that the time we talk about here is not exist there as an example in certain location you can stay there for four years it can be here maybe 60 years time change depend in your location so we have we are under the law of nature in the earth and that law provide us with certain timing we cannot get away from it Allah is having the same problem he is inside the earth now or let us say inside the zone of the earth and he have the same time schedule as we do and that will create a problem because 
just to explain more <clears throat> you know the Quran says that Allah he created in the lowest heaven the stars the lowest heavens is where the stars are located but based on this hadith the lowest heavens is resembled or connected with timing it is the third part of the night how that can be the only way for this to be exist is that the lowest heaven is part of the zone of the earth but the Quran says it clearly that Allah he created the lamps in the lowest heaven hmm interesting same time it says when Allah he arrived to the lowest heaven he started screaming and he starts saying the following statement read with me please who supplicate me so that I may answer him who ask me so that my I might give him who ask my forgiveness so that I might forgive him that's amazing that's so amazing to the point it is Muhammad deserved the medal or the, med the, the medallion of his stupidity because of the purpose of coming down to the first lowest heaven is just to do this if Allah is the Almighty God can't he do it from the top of his chair you know what I mean guys guys don't don't, don't worry about the post forget about them the whole point if Muslims when they post bad things it's just to take your attention from what we are saying just ignore them the admin who block them don't worry are you listening if Allah is Almighty God what kind of Almighty God he have to suffer of a long journey do you know how many galaxies we are talking about you see Allah is coming from the end of the the end of the world not the like uh, he's not coming from China He's coming from the end of the galaxies where is no more galaxies supposedly every day he come down okay hold on hold on hold on hold on let me open Google Earth because here there's more stupidity than intelligence when Muhammad he said Allah come down up correct guys when somebody says to us and this is not a metaphor if it's metaphorical problem with it but obviously this is not metaphorical no more because this is a physical movement from point A to point B a physical movement from point A to point B so when Muhammad he says the Allah down that is a clear proof additional proof that Muhammad he think that the earth is a flat but if Muhammad is here if Muhammad is here let us say for the sake of Muhammad is here and what is here and then I'll come down but statement for what is above for Muhammad is the lower for someone live here my above will be here if I live here above will be here will come from above that's mean that Allah he live in the top of Mecca specifically and Mecca ground and the earth is around itself 
and it's a fixed location otherwise Allah must be moving with the with the earth when Muhammad he said that Allah come down from the third in the third part of the night isn't it this is a clear and the it's being stupid again he is that the earth have one time zone there is a new time zone there's a third part of the night any Muslim have an explanation a sign of stupidity and ignorance and a false prophethood this story Muhammad Prove to us that he cannot be a prophet of God. His God is not Almighty, for he is incapable of receiving the prayers of the Muslims unless he go down from point A to point B. And point A and point B, what's the difference between them? The difference between point A and point B, I, let us make it clear. This is point and this is the second point. what happened in point a in point a obviously Allah cannot receive the prayer of the Muslims but in point B Allah he cry close to the earth what does that mean that's mean the God of Islam have a better reception if it's only from point but point B but receive it in point A that means he is limited in his ability himself have to move from point A to point B to accomplish the mission which is listening to his worshippers if there is any Muslim here don't uh, what I said my sound is bad my sound is bad really How many of you have a problem with my voice? Uh, okay, let me let me close it down then. All right, you know, uh, use it just so we can. Uh, and then some case, yeah, because of the cold, actually, it's very cold outside. Uh, since then, the internet is not doing good. Let me close the Skype too then. All right. Is it better now? Actually, uh, uh, based on my experience, if you have a problem with your internet, just say Allahu Akbar 100 times. And then your internet will cut off totally. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? I'm not going to stay long for today. I just wanted to share with you the stupidity of the Muslims. This is Islam, my friend. Islam is a stupid religion. If you are a Muslim, I feel sorry for you because you are stupid. I'm not insulting you. I'm not insulting you. But your prophet is a person, each time he talk, he make poo-poo. He don't talk, he do poo-poo. This is poo-poo. The one who told you that Allah is Akbar and he is the almighty God, he just told us that Allah is not almighty. Allah is limited. Allah himself, he have a duty to move every day from point A to point B in order he can hear us. Allah can receive your prayer only in the third part of the night. 
Allah cannot see everything, cannot hear everything unless He come down in the third part of the night. And as long as Allah He speak, sorry, He hear you at the third part of the night. What about all the prayer you do in the daytime? Allah did not hear it. As you see here, Allah He have a live chat room in the third part of the night. So why you pray to Him in the morning? Why you pray to Him in the noon? Why you pray to Him after noon? Why you pray to Him before dinner? If you are not going to be heard anyway, obviously, Muhammad is a person who created a lot of stupid stories, and his stories exposing his cult. This God. I mean, how a Muslim can explain to me that God, he have to come every night to, to, to hear us? Seven heaven is not good. You know, we are talking about God supposedly, right? The, Alm the Almighty God, the Muslim, they say to us, if you want something to happen, he say be, and it's going to be. And the Quran says that the similarity of Isa is the same as Adam. If Allah wanted to him say be, he created him by be. But if we ask the Muslim, did Allah create Adam by saying be? The answer is no. So it was a stupid statement in the Quran. For Allah did not create Adam by saying be to him. Muhammad himself, he made it clear that nothing created by Allah supposedly is made by be. And here is another example of the limitation of this fiction God who cannot hear you unless he come down in the third part of the night. Same time, what is the purpose to say who is asking me? Anyone hear it? Is that a fiction or this is a lie Muhammad is making up? Allah saying who supplicate to me? Allah talking to who? I never heard him. Do you Muslims hear him saying who supplicate to me? That I may answer him? Okay, you Muslims, you are cursing me and asking Allah to kill me every day for the last maybe 30 years since I was a kid. And Allah is not receiving your prayer because you are doing it in the wrong time, brother. Okay, let us now, let us fix this. I want every Muslim who hate a Christian prince to wake up very, very, very early at the night, third part of the night. And then you ask Allah to do something. Kabich, as an example, the Muslims, they curse Israel every day. But obviously, they are cursing Israel in the wrong timing, for Allah is not there and He cannot hear them. So you have to wait until the third part of the night and then you do your cursing party. Beach Abdul, do we have any Muslim here? He have a problem with what we said. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Any Abdul? Not even one Muslim. So you know, Muslims, you say to the Christians, "Merry Christmas." You don't say "Merry Christmas." We are happy, and you are sad. Who care? I mean, you see, you Muslims, you Muslims, your hate is is destroying you. You can't live like a human being, like the rest of of the world. And you know, for those who they don't like Christmas, even there's some naive Christians they don't like Christmas. Let me tell you something. I know Muslims who converted to Christianity converted to Christianity and one of the reasons they love Christianity is what happened in Christmas when say the Christians gathering gathering together praying together celebrating peace of the Messiah together giving charities and loving the world for the name of Christ Christmas is an amazing way to reach out to the pagan Muslims Muslim children 
in every house he feel jealous for your child can celebrate a Christmas he cannot this is why if you go in the Middle East in the heart of Saudi Arabia there you will see that people secretly they are celebrating Christmas for the name of Christ bring happiness to every house so don't be naive and say Christmas should not be celebrated Christmas is a great way to show the truth about the Messiah the loving the merciful the peaceful by his name the whole world celebrate peace even you go to Japan which most of people are not even Christians they celebrate Christmas Christmas is a bringing a lot of people to Christ but the naive ones don't know I'm going to China next month oh, maybe I should not say that did I say China no, it was not a China. I I I meant uh, 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 Beijing. Beijing. Is, is it Beijing in China? Oh, I should not say Beijing. I'm doing. I'm making poopo now, like like Muhammad. Okay, let us change it. I'm going to the uh, to the Great Wall. The Great Wall in the border between China and the border between uh, Honolulu. All right. If you know how many Chinese in a communist country celebrate Christmas, you will not believe it. Christmas is an amazing occasion. The pagans, the Muslims, the atheists, they try to fight Christianity, but the fact they cannot. It's an every, every, let us say, in every tradition in the world now, the whole world celebrate the new year. Do you know what the new year means? This is the year of the Lord. The communists in China, they celebrate the year of the Messiah. The Muslims in Saudi Arabia, they celebrate the, the year of the Messiah. Your computer run by the year of the Messiah. Your salary is paid by the year of the Messiah. You cannot run away from his name. For his name is a glorious and he bring happiness to every house you see if I see a Hindu and a Hindu he is supposed to for me is not following the, the, the true path to believe in the Messiah I have no problem to say to him happy whatever he have is celebrating nothing wrong with being peaceful with people being loving this person is happy why you are so desperate to fight his happiness If you want to invite him to your religion, if you think your religion is a true religion, it's not by saying, I'm not going to say to you, Merry Christmas. If a Muslim celebrating his Ramadan, which is a pure pagan practice, and I don't believe in his stupid Ramadan at all, and he is celebrating, I have no problem with him celebrating. Why not? I'm good, you know, I'm happy for him if he's happy. I explained to him that this is not through God and this is false tradition but no problem I mean I'm not going to uh, uh, I'm not going to be offended for a guy is happy why the happiness of others insult Islam Islam is insecure cult and because they feel insecure they feel that anything is a threat do you know what I mean once I have a neighbor I used to live in an apartment uh, his wife she called me and she said we have a thief in our house I got my gun and I went to his house and I found that behind the door he have a plant and the plant is moving so this stupid idiot, he opened the door, he's so scared, he's insecure. He felt something moving behind the door. But he have a plant there, it's a big plant. It's the branches of the, the plant, they, they, they touch the door. It is dark, he ran away to his wife, and the wife, she called me. 
that what you do when you are insecure anything is scaring you even if it's a shadow or a shade so a Muslim man is scared of his shade for he have insecure cult he knew that his cult cannot survive unless we stay angry we have to be alarmed for anything is offending us did you see brother did you see they are insulting the Muslims why brother why did you see the the cheese the French cheese it says lavash curry yeah well this is this is a cow it is it is making fun of the Quran what did you see the cow is laughing yeah okay don't we have a chapter in the Quran it's a bigger chapter it's called the cow chapter uh-huh obviously they are making fun of us it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter what you say they get offended for they are coming from insecure stupid cult this is the truth you know I, I, don't, I don't really like I, I, if a Muslim don't believe that uh, he should celebrate the Christmas no problem I mean I understand I, we don't want you to celebrate Christmas don't celebrate it but they have a problem of insecurity they have a problem of fear and the fear is that if a Muslim he celebrated Christmas he will find out that Christianity bring happiness and Islam is a stupid lonely cult me as a Muslim I celebrate Ramadan what I do in Ramadan my belly will become so big like a balloon I spent two hours in the bathroom to get rid of what I ate all night and I watch porn all night long in the morning I sleep this is religion what is the happiness in this religion Muslims are so upset from Santa Claus why Santa Claus is bad Santa Claus became a great way to share charity and nobody know who you are people they can give donation to kids and the kids do not know who is this person it's a great way you can bring happiness to the face of a child or even to a family but Islam is against happiness this is why you will see Muhammad he forbid the music but yet in his house he have Billy dancers he forbid Muslim men from having sexual intercourse with the women without witnesses but he have sexual intercourse without witnesses he forbid Muslim men from entering a house without the permission of the owner of the house but he can go inside any house and he can have sex with the wife of the house and this is how he took his own son wife Muhammad he have according to Ibn al-Arabi 16 a privilege about 12 of them is about sex what is the privilege Islam is giving to you Muslims you are an angry person, unhappy, unsatisfied, upset all the time, and you are suffering from phobia. And the funny, the Muslim, they call us Islamophobia when they are the one who get offended by anything. The Muslim, the first thing in the morning when he wake up, what he do? Before he say good morning, if <laughs> ever he say good morning, he starts saying, oh God, don't make me the same as the Christians, the lost Christians, and the cursed Jews. Like what? start your day say hello how are you we love everybody what do you mean don't make me like the christians what's wrong with the christian you dream to live like the christians you are leaving your country you cross the, the, the ocean to come as a refugee between the christians isn't it, this is the truth I invite all the Muslims to enjoy Christmas try it bring a Christmas tree to your house and see the happiness 
on the face of your children. Invite Santa Claus to your house and see how your children they will behave differently. They will be different. And don't forget to be thankful for the name which you celebrate, which is the name of Christ, which is mentioned in your Quran, and you Muslims do not know even why he was called the Christ. The name of the Christ itself is a clear proof that he is your God and he is your Savior. If you ask any Muslim, what the Christ mean? They say to you, it's coming from Lord al Messiah, the one who will wipe out things. So are you saying that the Messiah is going to wipe out your sin? Where is Muhammad and where is the Messiah? The Messiah is alive. Muhammad is the dead man. So you Muslims, you better celebrate. The one is watching you as we speak now. Not the one is dead in the grave. The one who your Islamic books, he said, it says he stink when he died for Muslims refused to bury him for three days. The Muslims refused to bury Muhammad for three days, hoping that he will do a miracle. The same as what the Messiah did. But they were so disappointed. Muhammad, he told them that the graves cannot swallow the body of a prophet. The grave cannot consume the body of a prophet. And after three days, Muhammad nails became blue. His belly started giving fart non-stop like in the month of Ramadan. And he stink. That what happened to your prophet. And actually, this story alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. You want to deny it? It's up to you. And by the way, anything I say here, I challenge any Muslim to call me and says to me, show me. Show me where you get this from. Like, do you want to show you Muslims that your prophet he stink from your books? Do you want Muslim to show you your prophet saying that the body of the prophet will not decay, will not be consumed? Challenge me. Right now, right here. And people will laugh at either you or me. It's very simple. Actually, if you look at the text, you will see, you will see the Muslim is posting dirty words. Ask yourself, if those people are not following the devil, why they are behaving like this? Correct, guys? Seriously, if they are not following the devil, I mean, what kind What kind of religion? Let us point the, the, the screen at the text so you can see. I will go back in the text. Hold on. If you see the Muslims, to the point they change their names, you know. Look, we keep ban them, and look, CP, etc. You know, you see the dirty words? You ban them, they come with different name immediately. I mean, what kind of cult its followers are acting like monkeys? The second you are a Muslim, you don't behave in a normal way. You lose your intellect. You lose your intelligence and you lose your nature as a human and you act like a monkey the purpose of your existence is to insult to call names to post dirty words you cannot debate them you cannot answer and they can refute them so what we do we make a threat like i saw a video made by hamas supposedly asking muslims to take action against christian prince you muslims you scared the hell of me you see i'm really scared This is the truth this is why the messiah he said from their fruits you shall know them and if islam islam is a good religion the fruits of islam should be different this is why even jesus said even to the jews if you are of your father abraham you do the act of your father if you are from abraham you do what abraham does
they are so desperate they do not know how to refuse they do not know how to answer I'm saying the truth and the truth hurt I don't mean to hurt you but however if you are hurting him so badly take some medication drink camera urine the prophet he gave you a great uh, supplement of medication drink honey camel urine and ajwa especially the ajwa man I mean Muhammad he said if you eat seven ajwa no poison can affect you and no magic and the funny Muhammad he was affected by both he died by poison and he was bewitched obviously the medication of Muhammad is so powerful any Abdul any brave Abdul anyway I cannot stay long because I have to finish my writing and then I have to stay late so Allah I want to talk to Allah you know look like now I know why I am opening my broadcast in the wrong timing because Allah is not here right now I have to open it in the third part of the night and then Allah he can hear me and then we can have a discussion together Allah he come down only in the third part of the night uh -huh. And the poor me, I keep saying, any Abdul, any Abdul. Hmm. The big Abdul, he is not even here. He don't hear us. Any Abdul is around. Any Abdul is around. No Abdul is around. All right. So just I wanted to share this video with you guys and uh, don't forget I have a I made a video in minds It's called the challenge to terrorist in Manchester or something like this. I post it in minds.com So if you don't mind you can go to minds.com slash Christian Prince and you can download the video and post it around You know if you do not know how to download the video by the way, it's very simple All what you need to do click at the video let it play and then after start playing click with your right side of your mouse you will see a bunch of options one of them it says save video as that's it then you can save the video as all right so like there's there is a list of videos actually there I uh, I posted there uh, they are they cannot be found in YouTube for a very simple reason uh, because it's it's using you know the Muslim that they they love to find the reasons to flag my videos and I'm not giving them that reason still I'm refuting them and I'm getting them busted so you can download my videos from there if you don't mind and by the way you can create a, a, a page there and post articles post videos in minds that come because they give you a 30 minute uh, uh, limited size video to post all right so you can make your page it's the same like it's a uh, minds that come is the same as Facebook and Twitter it's a merge between them and actually I think they are trying to you know to be a competition with the other two a big website uh, they might have a big future we don't know we will see uh, but it's a good website and they promise to be uh, let us say uh, they are not politically correct so they will not do what other uh, companies do Try it, make a page, and you can subscribe to my page there so you can get the same notification because I post there too uh, when I do live podcasts or anything, uh, any activities. So try it. All right. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? Any Muslim would like to say anything? Okay, any Muslim don't like to say anything. I mean, it doesn't matter what we say, they will not say anything. Huh? All right, look like we are done for today. I want to say, guys, thank you very much for being here. 
may the Lord bless you all and I want more Muslims to come here and copy our ideas in the text and because that will reach our text it doesn't matter what you do that will bring more people here in case you do not know the more Muslims even they are angry and it's it's, it's okay they are being the followers of Allah look at their words from their fruits you shall know them you see Muslims make it easier for Christian prince to convince people that Islamic religion is evil if it's not how you explain what we see in text if a Christian prince is wrong how you can explain the filthy behavior of the followers of Muhammad it doesn't make sense unless it is really what I am saying it is a devilish filthy cult all right if I travel to the heaven, lowest heaven, can Allah hear me without uh, what moving himself? No, Allah cannot hear you. But I think the reason for Allah cannot hear you, most likely, you see, I'm trying to find a scientific reason. And I contacted Zakir Naik to see what is really the reason for Allah cannot hear us in the seventh heaven. And Zakir Naik is a doctor, in case you do not know. So he come with the answer like this. Brother Sitter, if you study the science of the space, you will notice immediately that if you go in different living, there is different brother over your beard, I mean your ears. Therefore, the more you go up, the more the brother is less. So Allah, in order to increase the brother, so he go down. And that will make him be able to hear more because the earth, the more it's the cloth, the more there is the, 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 uh, uh, the more ear and the more brother. And that makes the sound travel better carefully. If you think about it, this is a very scientific because air, if it's not exist, your voice will not be able to be carried. So Allah, he come down so he can hear you. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. Yeah, it's science. It's a pure science. Yeah. You know what, guys? My wish, really, I, I have a wish, that this Zach and Nick ever will make a mistake and debate me. Ever. It's going to be the funniest debate ever. People will die in the floor. I will talk like him in the debate. You know? I will talk like him. And I will show the whole world how stupid the logic of the ones the Muslims call them scholar this guy he have nothing to do with the scholars he is making a business scholar huh you know when they asked Zakir Naik why a Muslim when she cannot be a prophet he said brother sister if a Muslim woman to become a prophet they had to lead the congregation if they lead the congregation they had to do would you and they have to do to do with me they have to bend over if they bend over they will disturb all the believers thank you very much so what is the reason of a muslim woman she can't be a prophet it's her ass imagine he said that in front of tens of thousands of people if a muslim woman she's a prophet she will bend over if she bend over every muslim will forget about the stupid allah and he will focus in the beautiful ass of the prophet woman that is Islam. Actually, there's a hadith. The Muslims, they came to the caliphate, complain about a Muslim imam who is a gay. And he is seducing them with his ass. And the caliphate insists that you should pray behind the gay. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? Last call. Any last call? Any Abdul? Okay, I will try to call Abdul in the third part of the night. Maybe I can get more lucky. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, for the Muslims, uh, you, you say to us Merry Christmas or not, it's your lost. We are happy. Are you?
you are not you are desperate you are angry you are upset and your God Allah is nothing bringing nothing to your life except anger and violence and hate we don't hate you Muslims and we will not be hateful like you for we are the followers of the great name which there's no name above his name God is love that is our Lord a Muslim was asking me what's your God name I cannot find really better name to describe my God more than he is the God of love who he him said love your enemy and bless those who they are cursing you if you can reach one day to understand such such an amazing teaching that someone 2,000 years ago when people they die and live by the sword when people live in the time of slavery when the time of unjust was the real way of life the Messiah said love your enemy and bless those who they are cursing you how beautiful that is if the whole world practice the sentence this sentence only of Christ just only you see if you don't want to practice the whole Bible and you practice only this teaching of Jesus the whole world today will become heaven heaven will be in earth if we all of us we follow one sentence of the teaching of the Messiah just one sentence but if we follow the sentence of the teaching of Muhammad the earth will be a blood bath rape is going to be a way of life theft it is the glory of the believer lying is allowed divorcing is fun having sex with the children is the way of the Prophet splitting women two pieces when she is alive it is justice that is what Islam brought to you this is why in your countries you are suffering badly even the wealthy ones thank you for being here may the Lord bless you all and I hope tomorrow I will be able to have my live broadcast too we will see until I see you soon again I say Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon again God is willing take care bye bye